Guys and gals, welcome back. So, I thought this week I'd answer a few questions as well as just pass on some knowledge that's helped me as a mobile sharpener. Maybe help you do a nice little side hustle or even start a business. But let's get to sharpening. You may be asking yourself, Sam, where the hell are you? And I do have an answer for that one. I'll let you guess though. So three, two, one, it's on a golf course. Which at first it was like, wait a second, you're wanting me to come to a golf course? But then it kind of makes sense because the executive chef, he invited me out because he would go to another knife sharpener, had been using him for a while but wasn't fantastically happy with the results. And this, the final straw was taking a double bevel knife, sorry, a single bevel, which is sharpened on one side and turning it into a double bevel knife, which was, that was the final straw for him. So he called me up, I went out, did a sharpening and that's where I am at right now. So that's, you can see that and kind of cool. It's a little driving range behind me and then the kitchen is off in front of me. So yeah, but let's get back to that footage. So Sam, how do you get power when you're out and about? I used to run with an inverter, but recently, well not recently, about a month and a half ago, I got this guy, which is a Sportsman 1000 watt. We'll spin around to the side so you can see a little bit more about it. But that thing has been nothing but ultra reliable. Two, like, two pulls, starts every time, sips on fuel, and has plenty enough wattage to run even like Kalamazoo or something along those lines. You just have to be careful you're a little bit lower in elevation than upper because one of my friends that I'm talking to is up higher in elevation and can't use this one sadly.
So a pretty frequent question I get asked is, what's your pricing? Which I'll flash that for a second. And yeah, no, but that's kind of, that's my generalized pricing. I've adjusted it a few times this past like year and a half, but at the and that's the thing with business is you're constantly evolving your system. So whether it be a knife sharpening business, uh, an electrician business, what be it, you're constantly evolving and changing and like using what works and adjusting what doesn't work. I mean, that's kind of the fun part about business is learning the ins and outs as well as what works and what doesn't. And that also depends on the person too, because every person's different and every business is different. Also, before I forget, I want to do a huge shout out. So, two people. One being Warren from Honed by Jones. If you're not subscribed to him, go find him. Honed by Jones. Super cool dude, runs a Kalamazoo, runs a bunch of different systems. Very unique and very cool dude. And then the second one being Vinny. He's a firefighter and doing knife sharpening on the side. And eventually when he retires, he kind of wants to do that as more of a, like, business side hustle kind of thing but honestly he gets the coolest weird coolest blades like it it's w wild like I think I know a lot of things and then all of a sudden he'll send me a picture and say hey how much should I charge for this and it's like uh, oh wait what 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 <laughs> so thank you both immensely it's been great talking business with you as well as just sharpening in general it's super fun thank you
So two things with this clip. First off, this is a sharpener I would recommend to somebody that wants to either hobby knife sharpen or even you might even be able to do it professionally sharpen. It's just price accordingly. So this is the Edge Pro Apex. I bought this about oh, probably like 10 years ago would be my guess. And probably would be like if I lost all my systems, this would be the number one I would buy in a heartbeat. I mean, I've got my Harbor Freight 1x30 and all that kind of stuff. But as far as like a precision, precision edge, these are incredible. And not sponsored, not anything by the channel. This is just an honest opinion of this system. I really, really like it. It's really basic, really easy to set up. And I've got a flat mounting plate that I put this to. And it it's stationary, easy to get in and out of. And you've got a sharp knife relatively quickly. But if you're looking into a sharpener as far as like just something you want to do as a hobbyist or something along those lines, really, really, really hard to beat this. It's got a lot of bunch of attachments. And they're just a solid, solid system. They're really close to where I am. So I think they're uh, Hood River, Oregon. And I'm in uh, Battleground, Washington. So not too far away. I'm half tempted to go see if I can go visit the factory one of these days. And then the other thing that I uh, wanted to pan back to the face. Just so that you could actually see my face again. But if you're thinking of doing like knife sharpening. Or even just something in general as a business. Go for it. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen is you get a no answer, so to speak. So the worst you get is no, but you not starting that process, it's already no. So what's the harm in starting a side hustle that you enjoy? I mean, if you enjoy doing it, is it really a side hustle? Is it really work? You tell me.
So this is another thing that a lot of people ask about is what on earth is this? So this is just a boar bristle brush, but it's by Cremo. And so like Walmart, those kind of places you can get them. And forget where I learned it, but it works really well for burr removal. There's a million different ways to remove a burr, whether it be stropping, pulling through a piece of wood, felt, whatever. This has been, by far been my favorite, just for the fact of you're not overstropping because you can overstrop, and it makes it very consistent time after time after time again. And it's just like, say my fingers, the blade, you just run it up and down, but just be careful if you're doing something like that because that is a sharp blade when you're cutting. So yeah, and but this works great. It allows it for it to be a little bit toothy and yeah, not overstropped. I love it. So that's going to wrap things up for this video. Hope you learned some new things, had some questions answered if you were curious. And until next time, stay happy and healthy, be safe, and keep those knives and tools sharp. Take care.